So that was a Hyundai Grand i10 Neos. It is aimed directly at the Swift, but it's not as excited rabbit of a car as the Swift is, but it is still a very worthy product. Now we are moving on to a Maruti Suzuki, which is not a Swift. It is called the XL6. Now the XL6 is basically an Ertiga in a party frock. And uh, I'm a little divided on this, but of course there existed a gap in the Nexa portfolio uh, for an MPV and that's what Marty has delivered with the XL6. It is basically the Ertiga platform modified uh, cosmetically a little bit here and there. The interiors are slightly different, a little bit more upmarket feel given to the product. So I think makes for a decent amount of uh, the changes that have happened to the product to give it an identity of its own. This is the Marty Suzuki XL6. the Maruti Suzuki is selling its products through two different retail networks. One is the arena that caters to the core mass segment customers and the other one is the Nexa that caters to its customers interested in slightly premium products in the mass segment. So you can look at the XL6 as the edge for Nexa customers. Design-wise, most of the changes have been done at the front as you can see it has a new set of headlamps and the grille is new as well. Bumpers have been reworked to accommodate the skid plates and there is a plastic cladding provided on both sides for a crossover-like character. Some parts like the ORVMs and wheels have been blacked out and roof rails have also been added if compared to the Ertiga. The cabin of the XL6 looks a bit different from the Ertiga because of the premium all-black interior. Wooden finish trims on the dashboard and doors have been replaced with stone finished plastic trims. The 7-inch touchscreen is the same but it now gets Smart Play Studio system that has a better interface and works faster as well. Steering is adjustable for tilt but not telescopic and there's no auto-dimming rear view mirror as well. The top variant of the XL6 costs around 13 lakh Indian rupees on road and for that price, it makes for a little disappointment. The XL6 only comes in six-seater configuration with two captain seats in the second row. There's no need to say that they are more comfortable than the three-seater bench seat of the Ertiga. However, thigh support is not so impressive in both. A lot of people must be curious to know about the third row seating because many of them are going to consider the XL6 just because of its seating capacity. So space here is just decent, but it is not for tall passengers. And if you're not just using these seats, you can fold them down to increase the boot space to 550 litres, which in the unfold condition is 209 litres. The XL6 is offered with a 1.5-litre K15B petrol engine that we've already tested in the Sias and Ertiga. It continues to come with Suzuki's HSVS mild hybrid technology that is set to improve efficiency. Now this engine is not as exciting but it serves the purpose of a family vehicle. The power output is about 105 horsepower and it offers a maximum torque of 138 newton meter. The engine is quite tractable and you can easily do 35 to 40 kilometers per hour even in the fifth gear, which makes the XL6 a city friendly car. Another thing which gives a little extra push when you need it is the HSVS hybrid system that doubles up as a fuel saver as and when that extra power isn't needed. Most of the progression can be felt under 4,500 RPM and around 6,200 RPM it shows off the red line. The refinement levels are also good but until you cross around 4,000 RPM. Because after that it starts becoming a bit noisy. 
and because it is now BS6 compliant, we can say that the emission levels are low as well. The variant we are driving has the same 5-speed manual gearbox, but it is also available with a 4-speed torque converter or better known as an automatic gearbox. The transmission is well tuned with the engine, but you feel the need of a 6th gear when you are in the high range. We didn't get as much time to measure the fuel efficiency of the XL6, but the same engine in the Ertiga delivered 15 to 16 kilometers per litre, which we don't think will be any different in the XL6. When it comes to the ride quality, it is not much different from the Ertiga. Like most of the Maruti Suzuki cars, the XL6 is also based on the Hartet platform. But the ride quality of the XL6 is much better than the Maruti Suzuki cars. It takes the road undulations very well and even potholes to some extent. So the overall job with the suspension tuning has been done well according to the usage of the car. Coming to this, it gets dual front airbags, ABS, EBD as standard and some extra features like electronic stability program and hill assist in the automatic variants. However, curtain airbags have not been offered even in the top variant or as an optional extra. And this is a big disappointment because when you're positioning the XL6 in the premium category, people start expecting such safety features. And now it's time for what you must be waiting for. Who can buy the XL6? So, if you like the practicality of the Ertiga, but its design is not to your expectations, then the XL6 is that sportier looking option you were looking for. Of course, you also get some additional features as well, but mostly it is about a different styling and seating configuration. Also, if you're looking for a family wagon with seating capacity for six or an occasional touring van for four passengers and lots of luggage, the XL6 could be the vehicle you were looking for.